basement today early. We had to wake up early for some reason and Elizabeth took Georgie for a walk. So I worked out downstairs, just got a little sweat going. And this morning I've been putting off something for a little while. It's a video review for this company called Pinji and they do like graphic uh, design sort of on demand. What I'm gonna do though is show you my setup here because I like to use a teleprompter when I have enough time to plan ahead and write a script and the videos turn out better that way, I'll be honest with you. So this is my desk setup here. So I have the microphone so I can have good audio and this is on a little swivel arm as you can see. And then what I have is a basically a monitor mount here. So I have a, a pole, a monitor mount, and there's this arm here. So I have my DSLR, it's a Canon T7i, along with a Cigna 18 to 35 millimeter f1.8, and it's mounted on the arm that you would put a monitor on. However, I've pushed it all the way to the bottom, have a little tripod extender pole, and then there's a, a ball, a ball mount here so I can sort of angle it around however I want make sure it's level and it actually goes up and down if I wanted it to though I really don't need it to do that the thing is I can't I don't have a teleprompter on here so let me show you that before I mount it over here I have this ring light which I've used for a while it's pretty cheap I think I got it for like 30 bucks or so there's a ton of them out there it's not particularly high quality but the thing is, I had an, an extra monitor mount up here, so I decided to go ahead and just put it up here. I had an extra uh, ball head tripod mount, so I put it up here so I could just get a little more light. And since it's a ball head, I could move it around wherever I needed to go. And this is the setup. But let me show you how the teleprompter works up here. Now I'm back behind the desk here, and the teleprompter is just on a shelf right here. And if you haven't seen one of these, Basically, there's some reflective glass right here, which you should be able to see, and it's angled. So the camera sits behind here, and you just you mount it back here. The lens looks through the glass. It can see through it, but it's sort of mirrored. So I get a reflection of the text that I'm supposed to read, which is coming from an iPad mini, which sits right here. You could put a phone on here. You could potentially put a smaller, you know, any other tablet you have. I have an old iPad mini, I think it's like version two, it's very old, but it can run the software. So I just set it right here. And let me show you how, how this mounts up. So I have AC power going to an AC battery pack. So I'm just gonna take that out to make it a little easier. And then we have our USB connection. And actually I just remembered I need to leave the battery pack in because once I mount it, I cannot access that little port. So we set it right on top of here. And you can see it's just about right on the glass. We gotta be a little careful with that. And then I just have a couple of these little uh, wing nuts, I guess they're called. And I could just screw it into the tripod, the tripod screw area at the bottom. So, I need to do actually let's do this a different way so for ease of mounting what I need to do is remove the tripod plate that mounts onto the ball head up here and then I'll put it on the bottom of the teleprompter that way it'll set in there just how we need it to and what I have is just a wing a wing nut that screws right here so I can mount it on the bottom so I'll just place this in here it's a little hard to see so try you can see the little screw and the, the wing nut here so I'm just trying to make sure it's tight since we're putting an expensive lens and expensive camera on here so we don't want it to fall so it's tight good to go so now what I can do is go ahead and mount it you can go ahead and mount it here so here we can just put it right in here, lock it down tight. So that's tight, good to go. Everything is locked down. We don't want it moving around while I'm messing with it. Now we mount it up here. 
so I know kind of where I need it to be. And essentially the lens is up against the glass. The closer it is, actually, I don't know. I imagine the closer it is, the less likely it is to have any kind of reflection. So I'm just going to find the screw hole. All right, and I don't want to screw it in too tight because that's going into the body of the camera. So I don't want to over tighten it or anything like that. And the one thing I just noticed is, you know, you kind of want to have it balanced. And right now it's like leaning forward quite a bit. So I want to have it balanced so that it's as close to balanced as I can get it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of loosen the, the screw here, loosen the, the thumb screw on the tripod mount and then slide it back a little bit. So it's a little better centered. And as I look at this, I see I'm going to have to take it off of here to actually loosen it. So it is a little heavy. All right. So it's not, it's not 100% balanced, but it's much closer than before. So at this point, I need to plug back in the USB. and then pull this back over. So the, the sheet here reduces the glare. So this is what it looks like. And let me zoom out so you can see. Yep, so now you can see we have the camera in there. I could lay the iPad right here and then we can see the words. So I'll show you that in a second. And then you can see I actually, you know, I mentioned I could just turn this ring light around wherever I want it. So I was actually using it just now. Before I shoot this video, this is probably the most important thing that I need to do today. So I'm trying to get it done and I've been putting it off. So when I get it done today, and it should only take a few minutes, it's one of those deals where it's actually taking me longer to talk about setting up the teleprompter and stuff than for me to just shoot the damn video. So we're gonna get it done. Today, overall, is kind of a, a normal-ish day. So I have a couple meetings in the afternoon. One is an interview for the podcast and YouTube channel. One is a coaching call. So I do coaching occasionally for students. It's a pretty small set of people, but I'm doing some coaching with someone later on today. This morning, you know, I'm doing a little work, but I'm also running some errands, which is typical. I may end up going to a you know, grocery store. I do like 95% of the, sh the shopping around here. And today I got to run some errands and do some things. We're also sort of like getting ready for uh, like the, the Christmas season. So a little trip here and there. So we're trying to organize some things like that. That said, I'm looking at this uh, Penji review and I realized that I needed to just quickly proofread it. But, you know, in essence, it's, it's done for me already. I mean, I wrote it, but it's done. I'll take a quick look. And the way this flow works is I record with this other camera over here, the DSLR, and I have it set up all the time. So it's very easy for me to just do a live stream, record a video, and it's all set up. I don't have to like wire things back together. And it took a long time for me to get to this point, but now that it's set up, it's very fast to do these videos. Once I shoot the video, I will upload it to Google Drive and my video editor, who is far more talented than me at video editing will do everything for me, right? She'll she'll edit it, she'll pull in B-roll. Because this is a like website and service review, she'll be able to pull some B-roll from the website. She'll just share her screen and integrate it into the areas that need that sort of uh, attention. So I won't send any other B-roll. I'm just gonna send this main video, the, the main talking video, and then she'll put everything else in. And she's watching this now, so thank you. So the app I use is called Prompt Smart. It works good enough. I'm sure there's others out there, but it is kind of cool. It has voice recognition. So as you're reading the script, it can automatically scroll. But what I find that I prefer is to just roll it manually. And there's a, another app that runs on my phone so I could pause it and, and adjust things on my phone while it's rolling up there. So I need to import the script, which is pretty straightforward. It integrates directly with Google Docs. So it just takes a second for me here. So I just need to import it. All right, so the script is loaded here. 
and I'll just hit, you know, the play. So now it's showing and it's backwards. You can probably see that that's backwards, but when you place it in to the teleprompter zone, it shows up properly. So this is what I see right here. And then it just, it goes, it's fantastic. And I could just read, it looks like I'm looking into the camera and it turns out way better than if I don't have a script. I know some people think it sounds, well, it sounds scripted, but once you get used to talking and reading from a script, it doesn't seem that way, or it's not as bad. You know what, it's hard to hear what I sound like externally, but yeah, it generally works out okay. I almost forgot one other piece of the puzzle. So I record here directly into my machine using Ecamm Live. So Ecamm Live is used for live streaming primarily, but it's pretty versatile and I, realize that it's a little easier with my workflow to actually use this to record and then I can just upload directly to Google Drive. So all I need to do is flip on the camera here and then I got the feed up here. So you may, you may be able to see that's me up there and I could, yeah, like I said, it's for live streaming. So I have, there's my webcam there and you could change cameras and do other cool stuff. But at this point, instead of streaming to YouTube, of course, I'm just gonna record directly and then we'll be in good shape. All right, let's do this thing. Yeah, it only took like 12 minutes. So I think the total video was 11 minutes. I messed up a couple times and that's easy enough for my editor to remove, do a couple jump cuts and insert B-roll which is basically uh, screen sharing from the website. So that's how it's done. And one cool thing is I live in Longmont, Colorado, and it has a very fast internet. It's actually through the city. So I have fiber to the house. It's like one gig up, one gig down. So uploading an HD video is like super, super fast, which is amazing. And it only costs $50 a month. I think it's one of the best uh, like internets and it's municipal, which is just amazing. So that was a, actually a big, a big selling point is fast internet here in Longmont. All right, let's do some other stuff now. Did you hop in already, Georgie? You ready for this? You ready, you good girl? So I have to head down to Arvada to a pottery place. Our old dog who's deceased, we got like his paw print in clay and they had to fire it and glaze it and some other things. So I'm gonna need to run down there and pick it up. So Georgie is gonna join me and I'm gonna be on the road for a couple hours here. So it's like an hour down, hour up, something like that. So let's get going. All right, I made the pickup and we're over here at Stone Leaf Pottery, which we have no allegiance to. It just happened to be the place that we dropped it off. And then here's the little paw print here. So this is Brody, his paw print. So I guess they fired it. I don't know the terms. They fired it and I, I think we may get it glazed later. So you see Georgie? Yep, that's all. <laughs> I just got back from running the errands and since I didn't walk Georgie this morning, I've like hardly walked and I don't religiously try to get 10,000 steps, but I usually get way more than that, usually closer to like 13, 15,000 or so, but it's nice out and I've been sitting in the car. So I thought I'm just going to walk for a few minutes before my first meeting coming up at 1 p.m. So just taking a stroll around the neighborhood and it's a beautiful day, not too windy, just really nice out here. So just walking a bit.